Hello guys and welcome to Plus Equal. In this tutorial I will show you how to create a material in Unreal Engine. For that I have my viewport here with a simple default scene with a cube on the middle but I will actually delete this. And if you have the starter content please go to props and you have the static mesh matte preview mesh. This object right here just grab it into the scene into the viewport Okay, now back to starter content. We have a folder called materials here. As you can see, we already have some uh, materials within the starter content. Pretty useful if you want to do some experiments and all. But we want to create a new material. And for that, we can create a folder here. Right click, new folder. Let's call it materials. Open up, right click. Material. Let's call it first material. Okay, now open up, double click on this one, and we'll open this this tab right here. What you can do here? Uh, this is a scalable window. Let me show you here. You see, this is a scalable window. What I recommend you to do is, if you have uh, two screens, two monitors, pass this one into the other monitor like this. Uh, if you don't have, or in my case, for example, I'm using and I just want to use one, I will grab this and put it here on the top. And now I can alternate between these two tabs a lot much easier. So here in the material panel, we can see already some names that we already talked in the last video. We have the base color, the metallic and the roughness. And these are the values that we are going to use for now to create our first material. So if this is our first time creating a material. Let me introduce you to this UI here. Uh, here we have the, the preview of the object. It's kind of a default value. You can uh, change its shape. But for now let's stick with the ball. You can also toggle between the background and the grid. You can pick one of the modes like unlit and one of the modes like in the viewport. And even the views. You can pick uh, some of the views to see the, your object. Now below this is the details tab, and the details tab have the properties of your material. Let's not uh, care much about this for now. Here is, is the most important part, is the graph area. If you don't know the names, just press here, and it says graph, and for example here, it says viewport. I usually like to hide this hide tab, so gets us a little more space. And here we have the palette. Here on the right we have the palette and the palette have the, all the nodes that we can use in the graph area. Uh, this is actually pretty good because show us the hotkeys to, to summon these nodes when in the graph. For example, in case I want a constant value, I need to create a constant node and this is number one. So if I get here, if I get here on the graph and I press one and left mouse click, I will summon a constant value. Let me delete this. If I want to summon a constant 4 vector, I'll get in the graph, hold down 4 and press the left mouse button, and I have a constant 4 vector. That's really easy to create nodes like this. Also, you can summon the palette just by right clicking with your mouse, and the palette appears, and you can search for whatever you want, for example, constant. And here I have the same thing that I have here on the right side. So it's really up to you what you prefer. Usually when you get used to this, we'll use a lot of the right click. But you can also always have the palette on your right side if it doesn't bother you. So for now, if you remember our base color, it says defines the overall color of the material. Each channel is, is automatically clamped between 0 and 1, like we saw in the last video. What we'll need to, to insert here is a constant tree vector. If you remember, we had the base color, red, green and blue, and these are the three main channels that we will use to create the base color. Being alpha the transparency, we'll not use it for now. So we want a constant tree vector, hold down tree and left mouse click, and we summon a constant tree vector. Now you can double click here and change the color to whatever value you want. See, here you can see the right, green and blue channel. 
let's get a, a cool blue color something like this you need to increase here on the right okay something like this looks pretty good here you can see the distribution of the channels between 0 and 1 for example only 14% would be the red value while 60 will be the green and blue equals to 1 that means 100% and these together give us this color that's what this means press ok this should update to your color press save let's get back really really fast to to our level and you see that nothing has changed right and our material is still black let's just grab this material here and put it into the element 0 if you don't have the element 0 you need to select uh, this object and this object contains two elements of materials uh, this part inside is this one as you can see there is a little yellow like like here and the element 0 is the most uh, is what you what the object have the most that you can see that is surrounding all the other part of the object at this moment is black because we didn't connect the node so let's go to the material and grab this node right here and input this into the base color and you will see a little check button there let it go and it's connected you can grab this and you see that it's connected to the base color now what you can do is apply save the little asterisk is gone go back to unreal and our object is blue just as our material now let's get to the metallic like metallic controls how metal like your surface looks like and this only needs one input uh, of one value so we go here and press 1 on your keyboard left click you'll create a constant value of 1 let's already drag this into the metallic with a value of 0 this means that our material isn't metallic if you want to put this into metallic just grab the node here and you can input the value of 1 to be completely metallic and now you can see that our object is a it's more brighter you know let's toggle between 0 and 1 to see the difference with 0 we don't get much uh, it seems like a a plastic uh, plastic kind of material while while we when we input the value of 1 it gets all shiny and looks good for me now also the roughness goes from 0 to 1 here you can read that controls how rough the material is roughness of 0 is smooth is a mirror reflection and 1 rough is completely diffuse what you can do is grab this node here control C and control V to paste it only needs one input will be almost the same just grab the node input in the roughness and now our material is completely opaque uh, don't show any reflection because the roughness is at 1 if you put this down to 0 or 0 0.1 you can see that the material gets a, a lot more reflective let's try and apply this to our material and see how, how it goes <laughs> and here we can see our object with our new material we can see the ref reflection of the sky and the reflection of these this default block here let's actually put a material on that as well let's put the concrete tile here I will leave my object just like this and this wraps up our first creation of a, ma a material in Unreal Engine hope you guys learned something new with this tutorial and in the next one we will, we will be adding some textures into our material node so our material will get a little more complex but hopefully you will learn also something new I will see you there thank you a lot for watching this video and don't forget stay safe see you in the next time